Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we are going to make an IoT based smart motion sensor camera using the ESP32 cam. With this project, you can control the ESP32 cam from anywhere in the world with your Telegram app. You can capture photo, monitor the temperature, also turn on lights. And if the PIR sensor detect any motion, the ESP32 cam will take a photo and send it to your Telegram app. And the best part is you don't have to connect with the same Wi-Fi network. You can receive these photos from anywhere in the world if the ESP32 cam is connected with the Wi-Fi. After watching this video, you can easily make this project as during the video I have shared the circuit, source code and all other details. But before going to the details, let's discuss some features of this project. Here you can see I have given the AC supply to this circuit and this complete circuit made on the zero PCB. Now let me open the telegram app. Let me tap on start to see the menu. So this is our menu. First I will tap on photo. See I have received this photo. Now let me tap on photo with flash. So the light and flash will turn on if I tap on photo with flash. Now I will turn on this light. I just have to tap on lights on the light turn on and to turn it off I will tap on light off now I will tap on weather and you can monitor the current temperature and humidity reading from this DST11 sensor now I will turn on the motion sensor I just have to tap on motion on so the motion sensor will turn on now when it detects any motion the LED will turn on and ESP32 cam will capture a photo and send it to telegram app let me turn it off otherwise it will keep on sending the photo so you can also control turn on and off the motion sensor from this telegram app so this is a very useful project and you can easily make it after watching the video so let's get started these are the required components for this project now you have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram the circuit is very simple you can directly give ac supply to this circuit and before designing a PCB, I have also made this complete circuit on a breadboard for testing. And after testing, to make the circuit compact, I have designed a PCB using the Altium PCB Designer software. In Altium, it is very easy to search for any components, compare the datasheet and accordingly use that component in your circuit. And Altium has also lot of useful tools which will save you a lot of time while routing any PCB and there are lot of free tutorials available on Altium and the user interface is so simple you can easily learn this software and use it to design professional PCBs. And we all know Altium is the most trusted PCB designer software by most of the electronic companies. So if you want, you can download the free trial version of the Altium software from the description and use it to design professional PCBs. We are going to use this PCB for this project. If you want, you can also download the GABA file from the video description. But in this video, we are going to make this complete circuit on a zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. You can also download this PCB layout from the description and print it on A4 page. Now we have to paste this PCB layout on the zero PCB. So first I will place this layout on the zero PCB. Then I have to match this grid with the hole on the PCB. After that I have to mark the PCB so that I can cut it according to the size. Now I will paste this layout on the zero PCB. Now I will place all the component one by one on this PCB. Now I have to solder all the components as per the layout. Our PCB is ready. This is the AC circuit. Now I will connect the ESP32 cam on this PCB. Then with this switch I will select the program mode. I have to turn on this switch to go to program mode. Then I have to connect the FTDI 232 to program the ESP32 cam and here I have selected the 5 volt on the FTDI 232. Now let me connect it on the PCB. Then I can connect it with my laptop to upload the code to ESP32. 
before programming we have to create a bot in the telegram app so let me open the telegram app first i will search for bot father then i will tap on this bot father then i will tap on restart now to create a new bot i have to tap on new bot then i have to give a unique name for this bot i am giving esp32 camp pir you can give any other name after that it will ask for an username for this bot so you have to provide a unique username but the username should contain underscore bot so here you can see this is not a unique username so i have to try another username after that here you can see it provide me a api token which required for coding now i will exit from bot father now i will search for my id bot now i will tap on this id bot then again i will tap on restart now to get the id i have to tap on get id and this is my id and this is also required for coding now we can move to the coding part of this project this is the source code for this project you can download this code from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article you can find a link in the description then you can download the code from this button now let me open this code for this project you have to download and install the esp32 2.0.5 version and these are the required libraries i have also mentioned the version now first you have to enter the wi-fi name then wi-fi password then here you have to enter the chat id so this is the chat id i received from the id bot let me copy it then here i will paste it then i have to update the bot token which i have received while creating the bot api token so again i will go to notepad i will copy this api token then i will paste it here now if you refer the same circuit after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to esp32 camp for that i will go to tools then select the board ai thinker esp32 camp you can find a board under esp32 arduino this is the board i have selected then select the proper com port in the partition scheme i have selected huge app now click on upload button if you go through the code you can easily understand and i have also explained this code in my previous telegram project you can find a link in the description after programming i will remove this ftdi232 then i will turn off this switch to exit from the program mode now i will connect the pir sensor i have already made a tutorial video on pir sensor so here you can see i have placed the jumper at this point and with this two trimmer you can adjust the delay and the sensitivity of this sensor now let me connect it with the pcb and now i will connect the dhd11 sensor our circuit is ready now here i have to give the ac supply and here i can connect any ac lamp according to this circuit as per the circuit i have provided the ac supply and also connected this lamp and whenever this pir sensor sends any motion this led will turn on now let me go to bot father and this is the link of our bot let me tap on it now i will tap on start now you can see the menu and let me capture a photo so our project is ready now let me fit this pcb inside a plastic box and now you can use it as a smart motion sensor camera if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends and you can also follow us on instagram and telegram channel i will share the link in the description and please do subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day